guys, Janet here over at the Mummy and the Monkey, and I picked up this basket of goodies for $40 at a yard sale today. James was out dropping off our eBay packages, and he saw that there was a local yard sale in our neighborhood. So, of course, when there's a yard sale, we have to stop and go look. Um, so he told me about it, and I met up with him, and uh, yeah, we did some shopping. So let's see what's in the basket. Um, I'm going to clip the camera. And hope this works. Let me adjust it here. I think that should work. Okay, so I'm I did try to open some of the bags already, but then I kind of piled everything on top. So they had each bag for five dollars, and I think it picked out like eight bags. It ended up being around 40 bucks. I think I got like almost fifty dollars worth of stuff, but she said, you know, that 40 was okay. We negotiated something. So here's a little silver looking bracelet and I have my loop nearby to uh, check for markings. So I'm going to check this bracelet for markings and it says Whiting and Davis. This is a Whiting and Davis bracelet. I don't see any sterling marks on it. It might be silver plated or something, but that's really cute. All right, let's see what else is here. Ooh. Oh, it's like a clip, okay. Is that marked silver? I'm not sure. So this is, a, it looks like a sweater clip. This looks like a vintage sweater clip. It has a fancy design. If I had to guess, that might be like 1930s, maybe 1920s. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments below. So there's that. There's a little sweater clip. Um, here's a watch. Looks like a lady's um, watch. And I apologize, my nails probably look terrible. Um, <laughs> I will paint my nails and do my nails, but then they don't last with all of the cleaning and scrubbing and work that I do. And I, I do a lot of sewing and crafts too. So um, my hands get beat up. I'm not like a girly girl all the time. You know, I try to do other stuff too. Here's another silver bracelet, um, but I don't see any silver markings on it. So it might just be costume. So there's that. This one definitely looks like costume. The costume stuff that isn't worth much, I'll either lot up or maybe just donate. Um, there's some, ooh, what are these gold earrings? There's some gold earrings, but it looks like they're just costume. I don't see any markings on them that indicate otherwise. I think they're just little cutesy poo costume earrings. Um, oh, here's a rhino. Here's a rhino pin. He's pretty fun. There's a pin here. NMCA. I don't know what that means. Do you guys know what that means? NMCA. All these I'll have to look up. Ooh, there's a marking on the back. What is that? Let me check. Let me check with my loop. And it says 10 carat. Oh, green KC. Uh, with some numbers before it, and then it says 10K. So that might be 10 karat gold, guys. That little pin might be gold. Ooh, that's awesome. Um, okay. Oh, this pin is cute. So this pin here, there's like a telephone with some lips. The paint has worn off, but it's way cute. Um, these look like they're just costume. There's like a little crystal... Um, necklace here. I'm going to check on my loop just in case real quick. And I'm not seeing markings. So these two necklaces are very cute. Oh, there's one of my hairs. Sorry. <laughs> these necklaces are very cute, but that's just costume. So I'm going to set some of the junky costume stuff off to the side. These are like the nicer things. Um, there's a baggie. And this says made in Japan, and it looks like a little play like dust bin. Like a, um, like a dustpan. Yeah, that's what those are called, dustpans. That's kind of different. Here's a bracelet, and it looks like it's made out of copper or maybe brass, and then I think that stone is onyx. What do you guys think? I think that looks like onyx. Um, I don't see any markings on it, but it looks really old. That looks really cool. Here's a shoe clip. I think that's a shoe clip or a dress clip. Nothing really 
fancy there. Um, a giant safety pin, some type of little brass pin. Now this, I'm not sure, it looks like an animal bone. I don't know what this thing is. Is that some kind of tool or something? Put it in the comments. I don't know what that is. Um, okay, I'm gonna move the camera a little bit and we're gonna look in here. Here's another pin. Oh, it's like a, a locket. So there's a locket. Is there any markings on it? No. So that might be like Avon or something, you know, just costume. It's really cute though. It has like a steampunk antique look to it. Um, we'll set it over there for now. Ooh, there's more stuff here. What's this? Okay. So this looks like a watch chain and it looks very brassy. Oh, and it has some markings on it. Ooh, I wonder what that says. Okay, so I'm gonna set this camera back up here and I'm gonna check on my loop to see what this says. This is really cool, what is this? M-U-N-S? Munns? Emmons? E-M-M-N-U-S? I can't tell what that says. Um, I don't know if that's maybe gold or gold filled or gold plated, but it's a, a very pretty watch chain. I know people do collect pocket watches and wind up watches and that chain is really cool. So I'm going to have to research that further. Um, there's a pin here that's attached to a chain. There's a, a pretty little brooch, a pin, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it has some markings on the bottom. So what are those markings? Let's see. The marking is, okay, I have to move the camera. I'm sorry, guys, I keep moving the camera like a, like a dummy here. It says R-O-N-C-I, Ronci, 12-K-T-G-F. So that's 12 karat gold filled, meaning that it has gold in there, but it's mixed with other metals. So that's a very pretty vintage brooch. I know gold filled jewelry, people collect it. Um, some people are crafty enough where they can get the gold out of there and they scrap the gold. I'm not one of those people. I will sell the gold filled stuff. Um, this is a pretty vintage chain. It looks like it's brass to me. I don't think that's gold, but again, I'll have to check it uh, for markings and stuff like that. I don't see anything that's sticking out at the moment. So we'll put that off to the side there. Here's more baggies, ooh, more baggies. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back here for now. Oh, this bag was opened. There's some pins here. Let's see what the pins are. Ooh, what is this? Well, it looks very tarnished, whatever it is, and it has some sparkles. Ooh, could those be diamonds? <gasps> they don't fog up when I <sighs> do that. So who knows? I'll have to see if uh I'll have to see what those are. Maybe it's crystal. Probably not real diamonds, probably just crystal or something. Um, oh, here's another pin. This looks like maybe a little tie pin, right? I think that's a tie pin. And I'm going to see if there's any markings on it. And there is a there is something on there. Mayward, M-A-Y-W-A-R-D, Mayward. So it's marked Mayward. I'll have to look that up later. Okay, moving the camera again. Here's a baggie of stuff. Um, and we're gonna open that up. Let's open up that baggie. I'm gonna move the camera up maybe this way. Let's see. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe I could clip it like that and then move that a little bit like that. Um, and I'm gonna open this bag and hopefully it shows up. Ooh, okay, so this says Genuine Jade Pendant and it's in this gift box. <gasps> What's in here? Okay, so there's a little um, little windmill jewelry piece. And there's a necklace. Ooh, maybe that's the jade. Is that real jade? What are the markings on it? Is this costume or is it like, is it something more than that? Let's see. 
I don't see any jewelry markings at the moment. So I'm thinking this is just costume with like a jade stone thrown on there. But it is pretty and it's cool that it's in the original box. So maybe I could still like sell that online. Maybe someone would still want it. It looks very nice. Um, here's some like earrings. These are screw back earrings. Looks like just costume. Little clip on earrings. Um, there's a little necklace here. Is the necklace silver? Um, it's marked Taiwan. So <laughs> this is just costume jewelry here. This is kind of junkier. We'll put the junky stuff over there. And then the fancier stuff over here. Okay, so let's open up another baggie. This is so much fun. I love looking through jewelry. It's a lot of fun. Oh, there's a watch. <gasps> there's a watch. Oh, Geneva. That's a junky one. That's costume. That's a real junky watch. Oh, water resistant. Well, that's nice. You know, costume, just kind of fun. So we'll put it over there. Ooh, so that looks like the Order of the Eastern Star. There's a star on there, and it looks like a pillbox, maybe? Let's see. You know what? It looks like it used to be a compact, but the mirror is missing. But I know people like the um, fraternity stuff, like the Masons stuff, Odd Fellows, the Eastern Star. So I think I'll save that and see if I can lot it up with something else. Here's another big pin or brooch, whatever you want to call it. It's like a dangly one, and it says Caroline. So this was Caroline's um, brooch at one point. That's kind of fun. All right, what's this tangled up mess? Um, this just looks like costume. I don't see any markings. It feels cheap. It has the really cheap, not, I don't even think those are rhinestones. It's probably plastic. So this is like super junky. This is like El Cheapo. We're gonna put that over there. Um, okay, so here's another baggie. And in this baggie, it says Avon Hit the Notes Musical Zipper Pull. Musical Zipper Pull. And it has a little snowman. So I guess you would put this on your zipper and the little snowman would play music. So I'm going to see if I could get them working. I'll have to look them up to see if people collect that. I know some Avon stuff people do collect. Uh, most of it is really cheapy junky. It's really not much of anything. Um, here's a vintage charm bracelet. This is all costume, but look at the cute little charm. So there's a bird, there's an owl, there's, um, looks like a roulette wheel of some sort, a ladder, more, uh, little, little monkeys. Um, these are cute. I've sold vintage charm bracelets, even if they're not real, even if they're costume, some of those could go for like $20 or more. So that's fun. Uh, what's this say? Oh, Napier. Napier. So that's costume jewelry, but it's a nice costume. So cool. All right, here's another charm bracelet. Let's see. There's letters on here. There's a little football. Maybe that spells someone's name, but there's another charm bracelet. And this one has a really antique looking clasp. Um, and then it looks like it has coral beads, some type of little gemstone. I think that's a coral stone. I think that's what you would call it. It's almost like an orange, like a pumpkin orange color. Um, so that's interesting. I'm going to have to look into that. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments below if you know, like, what the gemstones are, if, um, you know, stuff like that. I like to hear from you guys because sometimes I learn as I go with this. And it, it's just fun to research. Um, here's, ooh, what's this? <gasps> wow. So this looks like a compact. Is this lipstick? Is that like a lipstick holder? I'm trying to open this. Oh, ooh, don't use that lipstick. But yeah, this is an old brass lipstick tube. And this says made in the USA. And it looks like, oh, it opens up here. And it says, Helena Rubenstein. Helena Rubenstein with a patent number. 
And, ooh, there's me on the camera. I don't know if you could see me in the mirror there. Hello. But um, there's the compact, or, yeah, compact. No powder puff, no powder. But that's really neat. That's a really old design. That's a really cool. So I'm glad I, I'm glad I picked this up. I'm really glad James found this uh, yard sale and told me about it. Okay, this is really junky. It looks like it's rusting, actually. <laughs> And I don't see any maker's marks on it, so we'll put it with the junky stuff there. Um, this is rhinestone. There's some rhinestones, so that's fun. Um, no maker's mark, but we can put it with the junky jewelry. It's this fun sparkle. Fun sparkle jewelry. Here's a chain. There's another chain in here. Let's see. I don't see any markings. This is, looks like it's definitely costume because it's so bright and blingy. Real silver, I don't think would be that bright unless if you bought it brand new. So we're going to put it there. And I've got so much left, guys. I'm going to check on the camera here. It looks like we're still going strong. Um, here's another bag. Ooh, another bag. Can I, can I do this with one hand? Probably not. So I have to put this back up. Sorry, guys. Let's open this back up and see. Ooh, what's this pen? It's a fleur de lis, right? That's what those are called, fleur de lis, fleur de lis. And I see markings, ooh, it's sterling. Okay, so this is an antique sterling pen. How fun is that? It's very lightweight, it's very tarnished, and it's marked sterling on the back, so that is really cool. Um, okay, what's this pen? I don't see any markings. It's pretty, though. It has a purple gemstone. Um, so I don't know. Then I'll have to look up. Daisy earrings are fun. There's no markings on them. They're clip-ons. If I could find the match. Oh, here's the match. Okay, so those sell between $10 and $15. People like those vintage daisy earrings and jewelry pieces because it's so 60s and fun. So I think I could still sell that. What's this say? Cobra. Cobra. It looks like costume jewelry. Some real, like, you know, quarter machine type of thing. We'll put that with the junk jewelry. Oh, more flowers. These are really cute. That might be a $10 sale. So that might be $20 in earrings right there. There's half my money back. Um, St. Augustine, Florida. A little souvenir pin. That's cute. What's this earring? Oh, it's marked Monet. It says Monet in tiny letters. It's enamel and gold tone. Um, here's some more. These are Napier earrings. Napier? Napier? I, it, to me, it looks like it, it's French, like you would pronounce it in a Frenchy way. Um, here's a cufflink with a cameo on it. It looks like a Roman soldier, like a tough dude there. Um, these are costume earrings. I don't see markings on them, so we'll put them with the junky stuff. What is that? Oh, some type of clip, like a shoe clip or um, like a dress clip. See these lift up and you would clip them to your shoe for decoration. Oh, it says tiptoe. Yeah, tiptoe. So that's an old shoe clip. I, I never find matches to these shoe clips. I think people would lose them like they would fall off your shoe, but you would add them to your dress shoes. Okay, this is a, a Christmas pin marked Jerry's. And then there's a little chain attached, and it looks like the chain is probably just costume. I don't see markings on it. Most of the jewelry markings, and I'm very lucky, I can see with my own eyes. I don't have to wear glasses. Um, some of them, the writing is so small or the print is so small that I do use my loop. Um, but most of the time I could see it with my eyes, so I'm lucky and grateful to have my vision right now. Um... This is really junky looking and it's rusting. So junk jewelry pile. <laughs> um, there's a little bit more. Wow, well, let's see. There's another baggie and then some odds and ends on the bottom. So we'll go through this baggie. I'm going to move the camera. Um, hopefully you guys 
can see it okay. I'm gonna oops, try to adjust it there in hopes you could see it. And it's still rolling? Yeah, we are still recording. Okay, just making sure. Okay, here's a big necklace. Has some type of fancy thing. Oh, it says Germany Regiment. Germany Regiment. So it looks like some type of military thing. I don't know what that's about. Um, no maker's mark. It's some weird costume thing. Like a lady's necklace. Maybe if uh, someone visited Germany, that was like a souvenir. I don't know. Here's um, a big chunky necklace. And it's marked, what is that? Oh, it's Chico's. Okay, Chico's is nice. That might be a $10 necklace. I've sold Chico's jewelry on my eBay store before. And it's not big money, but people seem to like them. So we'll put that over there. This is just some weird, like, chunky beaded necklace. Junky jewelry, I'll put it over there. This chain feels very cheapy, but it's marked RLL Ralph Lauren. So it's some type of Ralph Lauren chain, maybe like a men's wallet chain. Um, I don't know, that's kind of interesting. I know Ralph Lauren stuff people like. Oh, this has some type of marking, what's it say? Cookie Lee. That's a Cookie Lee bracelet. Junky costume jewelry. People like Cookie Lee, but this might be $2 to $5 on eBay. Like, it would not be worth it for me to put that on eBay. So, unless if I lotted it up with other things. Um, I have put $5 things on eBay, but it's not something that I always like to do. But sometimes I will do it out of necessity. Um, this is more junky jewelry here, so nothing there. Okay, so we went through all the bags and now we have some stuff on the bottom of my basket. So let's dump out the rest of the basket. Ooh, what's that? A little charm. That looks like an antique charm. And it looks like maybe it was gold filled or gold, gold plated at one point. Here's a lady's watch. And I did check the watches when I was at this yard sale. Most of them work when I wind them up. These are wind up watches. This is a citizen watch. And it says Japan. It's kind of neat. Um, this watch, I can't read it. Okay, that one I can't read, but it's, oh, Jules Jorgensen. Jorgensen? Jorgensen. That might be Swiss. Jorgensen. Um, there's a wind up watch there. Here's a lady's watch. It's Hamilton. And are these gold or gold filled? Let's see. 10 karat bezel, RGP bezel. So that means it's gold plated. So this is 10 karat gold plated. A cute little wind up watch. Um, this is marked Caravel. Caravel. And. It's stainless steel, so nothing fabulous there, but they're kind of cool. I know some people buy them. This looks like an old coin, and I don't know if it's original or reproduction, but it's pretty fun. So I grabbed that, and I'll have to research it. Um, if you guys know what it is, put it in the comments below. Maybe it's a museum replica or something. I've sold museum replicas before. People do collect them. So there's that. Ooh, that looks Victorian, right? That looks really old. And it looks like it's gold plated or gold filled. There's someone's picture. He's got like a hipster mustache before, a hundred years before hipsters adopted that look. Um, the pin part is missing. Maybe that was a pin, maybe it was a pendant. Um, but that might be morning jewelry, right? Victorian morning jewelry. Maybe that was someone um, that passed away and they were wearing that in their memory. Here's another little picture of a little boy. This looks newer though. That looks probably 1950s. Like a little, you know, just a little picture. And then here's a pin that's marked Made in Holland. Maybe you would put another photograph in it. It looks similar to this one. So maybe that's like one you would put a photo in. 
Um, so there is my jewelry haul. Um, I got all of these treasures for $40. I know with just some of the earrings, I can make half of my money back. The watches, I might do okay on. So I think I'll be okay. Um, let me turn this off and I'll switch to me talking at you guys. Okay, so I'm here in the uh, sunroom in our studio talking at you guys. Um, thanks for watching the jewelry haul. If you guys like those type of haul videos, let me know and I can film more like that. Um, we don't do a lot of the thrifting videos, but we do like to do them from time to time. And we will be back Friday night with another Mummy and the Monkeys Harry Scary Hangout wearing the shirt, but this shirt is covered with cat hair and it's two years old. Um, the link for the t-shirts and tank tops are in the eBay store, or not eBay store, in the Teespring store in the video description below. So if you guys um, want to pick up a t-shirt or a tank top, it does help support the channel. And the link is in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. And uh, bye for now. Bye-bye. Hey, Groovy Ghoulies! My name's Rob. And I'm Karen. And we're the Bargain Barons, and we love running around our city to different garage sales and estate sales looking for antiques and collectibles. Oh my gosh, there's just so many nice things here. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so nice. Hey. Wow, look at this old thing. Oh yeah! And when we're not doing that, we love watching Mummy and Monkey on YouTube and Facebook. They're awesome. Check them out.